the upcoming Leopard 28, based on the Leopard 207HU production model, will bring various enhancements, including the integration of a Trophy Active Protection System and an all-round Situational Awareness System with sensor fusion capability. Expected to join the German Army in 2025, the Leopard 208 represents a commitment by the German Ministry of Defence to upgrade their existing Leopard 2 fleet rather than adopting a completely new main battle tank like the recently developed KF-51 Panther by Rheinmetall. Despite this, once deployed, the Leopard 208 is set to rank among the world's finest main battle tanks. The German army intends to construct new Leopard 2A tanks rather than upgrade existing hulls, equipping them with the advanced trophy active protection system and a new engine. The Leopard 2A boasts impressive specifications, including an approximate weight of 67 tons. With a length of around 11 meters from the gun's forward position, the hull stretches about 7.7 .7 meters in length. The tank measures approximately 4 meters in width and stands at a height of around 3 meters. These dimensions contribute to the Leopard 2A's formidable presence on the battlefield. The Leopard 2A is equipped with a powerful 1,600 horsepower engine, a notable upgrade from the previous versions that utilized a 1,500 horsepower engine. This increase in engine power could potentially be a factor in the decision to use newly built hulls for the Leopard 2A. Additionally, the tank features an auxiliary power unit that enables the operation of all systems even when the main engine is turned off. With a maximum road speed of approximately 70 km per hour, the Leopard 2-8 can cover a range of around 450 km. These specifications contribute to the tank's enhanced mobility and operational capabilities. The Leopard 2-8 is equipped with a Rheinmetall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, which is loaded manually. It is designed to be compatible with all standard NATO 120mm tank ammunition and can carry up to 42 rounds. The tank is also capable of utilizing DM-11 programmable high-explosive anti-tank rounds. These programmable multi-purpose munitions enable the Leopard 28 to engage targets that are positioned behind cover or within buildings, while still maintaining effectiveness against armoured vehicles. While specific details about the secondary armament have not been officially disclosed, it is widely believed that the Leopard 28 will feature a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. These secondary weapons provide additional firepower and versatility to the tank, enhancing its combat capabilities in various scenarios. The Leopard 2 8 version is set to feature enhanced armor protection, utilizing a multi-layered armor of new generation comprising steel, tungsten, composite filler, and ceramic components. The tank incorporates an add-on passive armor kit to further augment its defense capabilities. Notably, Improvements have been made to increase mine protection and enhance the protection of the turret roof. The tank is equipped with a version of the Israeli Trophy Active Protection System, also known as Eurotrophy. The trophy system is specifically designed to provide additional protection for tanks against incoming anti-tank rockets and missiles, and in some cases, it can also counter high-explosive anti-tank shells. It employs a fire control radar, with four flat panel antennas mounted on the vehicle to provide a 360 degree field of view. When an incoming rocket or missile is detected, the system's internal computer calculates its trajectory and determines the optimal time and angle to deploy countermeasures. Two rotating launchers on the sides of the vehicle house a number of small explosively formed projectiles that create a precise cloud of explosive shrapnel effectively neutralizing the threat before it reaches the tank. It is important to note that the trophy system does not protect against kinetic energy threats like armor-piercing fins stabilized, discarding sabot munitions, as these projectiles travel too quickly for interception. The trophy system is designed with a small kill zone to ensure the safety of nearby infantry. Simultaneously, it can engage multiple threats arriving from different directions. The system has been successfully employed on Israeli tanks for several years, demonstrating a 100% success rate in various combat conditions against threats such as RPG-29 
anti-tank rockets, Cornet, and Metisem anti-tank guided missiles. Additionally, the trophy system provides vital information about the direction of attack to the tank crew, enabling them to identify enemy locations and potentially engage the launch positions, thus further enhancing overall survivability. While specific details may not be available, it is likely that advancements have been made to enhance target acquisition, accuracy, and overall combat effectiveness. Reports suggest that the tank features a new situational awareness system, which includes a 360-degree vision system from within the hull. This system provides the crew with an enhanced field of view, allowing them to better monitor their surroundings and react to threats more effectively. Additionally, the battlefield management system, responsible for coordinating and integrating various combat information, has also been improved, enabling enhanced communication and decision-making capabilities. The Leopard 2 8 is operated by a crew of four individuals, consisting of the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. Each crew member plays a crucial role in the tank's operation, with the commander overseeing the overall mission, the gunner responsible for aiming and firing the main gun, the loader handling ammunition replenishment, and the driver maneuvering the tank. Together, they form a cohesive team to maximize the tank's combat potential on the battlefield. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.